Today's topic is about diarrhea. Do you know that diarrheal disease is the second leading cause of death in children under 5 years old? It is both preventable and treatable and each year diarrhea kills around 525,000 children under 5. Globally, there are nearly 1.7 billion cases of childhood diarrheal disease every year. Diarrhea is a leading cause of malnutrition in children under 5 years old. Let us first understand what is diarrhea. Diarrhea is a symptom. It means something is causing the diarrhea. The definition of diarrhea covers two important aspects that are the frequency of the stool and the consistency of the stool. If the frequency of the stool is more than three times a day and the consistency is abnormal compared than usual, then it is diarrhea. This definition is from the World Health Organization. An acute diarrhea can last up to few days whereas chronic diarrhea can last up to weeks and months. If the diarrhea is acute, it is usually easy to treat and most of the time is self-limiting. However, if the diarrhea is chronic, meaning lasting for more than a week please consult a doctor. If the diarrhea is acute, the causes are usually infection, food poisoning and use of certain antibiotics. If the diarrhea lasts for weeks, most important cause to ascertain is cancer. Thus, doctor will do certain tests to look actively for it. The tests will vary according to the type of cancer suspected. However, the commonest is blood tests and tumor markers. Most of the time, doctors will ask for imaging too. If the cause is not cancer, then other chronic causes like inflammatory bowel disease, malabsorption, etc. will be thought of. I will make a separate video about the details of the causes. The most common complication of diarrhea is dehydration. During a diarrheal episode, water and electrolytes like sodium, chloride, potassium and bicarbonate are lost and are not replaced. The degree of dehydration is rated on a scale of 3. The worst is severe dehydration. Signs of severe dehydration are lethargy or unconsciousness, sunken eyes, unable to drink or drink poorly, skin pinch goes back very slowly, greater than or equal to 2 seconds. If two or more signs are present, then it is severe dehydration. The less severe is some dehydration. The signs are restlessness, irritability, sunken eyes and drinks eagerly or are thirsty. If two or more signs are present, then it is some dehydration. The best sign is of course, no dehydration, that means there are no signs to classify as severe or some dehydration. The first and major treatment of any diarrhea is to replace the fluids and electrolyte lost during the episode. If it's adult or child that is able to drink, then just give fluids like water, juice or soup. If no appetite, then oral rehydration salt called as ORS is the best treatment. ORS is a mixture of clean water, salt and sugar. It costs a few cents per treatment. ORS is absorbed in the small intestine and replaces the water and electrolytes lost in the feces. If the child is unable to drink or the patient is a baby, intravenous fluid is necessary and thus must be brought to the hospital. Intravenous fluid is also important if there are signs of severe dehydration. Most people are very bothered being sitting in the toilet for a long time. In this case, two common medicine for reducing the symptoms are lopiramide and bismuth subsalicylate. Lopiramide or Imodium acts by slowing the contractions of the intestines and how quickly its contents pass through. By slowing the movement, it allows more time for water reabsorption, thus hardening the stool. Side effects of lopiramide include dry mouth, constipation, and nausea. Bismuth subsalicylate is also known as kaopectate and peptobismol. As the drug passes into the stomach, it divides into bismuth and salicylic acid. The bismuth remains in the stomach, where it helps increase fluid absorption, reduce inflammation, and heal the stomach. Side effects may include nausea, bitter taste in mouth and dark stools. Bismuth subsalicylate contains salicylate and thus it is not advisable for people with allergies to aspirin to use bismuth salicylate. Other treatments according to World Health Organization are zinc supplements. 
Zinc supplements reduce the duration of a diarrhea episode by 25% and are associated with a 30% reduction in stool volume. Key measures to prevent diarrhea include access to safe drinking water, use of improved sanitation, hand washing with soap, good personal and food hygiene, health education about how infections spread. That's all regarding diarrheal disease. If you find value in this video, please like, comment, and subscribe as this will motivate me into doing more videos like this. I have linked the sources of the information used in this video below in the description. You can take a look. Thank you and see you in the next video.